welcome to Pigeon TV. Here we've got the under 16s getting ready for their uh, upcoming clash against North Albury. Having had their first win last week, the girls will be chock full of confidence to have a, another victory today against a usually very strong North Albury outfit. Uh, just here with Dean Carroll, the coach of the uh, Yarrawonga Raid under Ray Doons. How do you think we'll go today, Dino? I think we'll do well, Gary. Uh, the boys have got something to show after last week, uh, after last time against North Albury. Yeah, let ourselves down last time, so hopefully yeah. we'll, uh, So we'll where does this, where would this put us uh, with the victory after last week's draw? Where are we looking for the top three? Uh, keep us within touch here, yeah, going out. Great. Good luck, mate, and we'll talk to you after the game. Thanks, Gaz. We are... Yep. All right, mate, uh, North Albury today. Uh, give us a bit of a run for our money last week. How, the, how are we shaping up this week with a few boys back? Uh, yeah, we're starting to look a little bit more settled with the team. It's uh, good to get a few back, but the boys that played last week really uh, put their hands up and made the, put the pressure on me this week, but uh, we've got a big challenge today. Yeah. Um, North Albury had a huge win last week, and they've picked up a lot of players from district clubs, and um, a lot of blokes played seniors against us last time, so big challenge today, but we're looking forward to it. Yeah, the boys have gone through a bit of a rough patch, but um, it seems to be starting to stabilise in a little bit with a few of the players coming back now playing with you. Yeah, like that happens with reserves footy, as we know, but um, we seem to be getting things going. <laughs> as, uh, as the year goes on, I'm sure we'll uh, get the right boys in the park and um, we'll be uh, looking good. Good luck, mate. Good luck today, and we'll catch up with you later on. Thanks, Alfred. Just here in the rooms after the uh, thirds have had a convincing win. I'll just get hold of the coach. Who are better players, mate? Uh, Wildy's fantastic, yep. Kirby Kerr, Russell. So they're pretty happy with themselves, they seem pretty happy in the rooms? Yeah, played well. Uh, good stuff, thanks yeah. mate. Matty Suda was awesome. Yeah, Matty Suda. Pigeon TV welcomes you into the Yarrawonga corporate box. Uh, we've got some um, highly uh, rated people up the far end. We've got, we've got the, uh, the incumbent, probably uh, chief, big chief of the, Yarra, of the Yarrawonga Border Golf Club, Pop Savvy. The man who handles all the cash at the golf club, you, Dario, Dario. Dario. And, um, president. and president who hasn't got a two bob off me for ages, <laughs> and we've also got the great man, oh the president's just walked in, and he's just walked out again, so, uh, so this, gives you a little look at, this gives you a little look at what we're doing here at the footy club, um, with the different signs and what have you, and this is the view that they get from inside the box. So uh, people pay to uh, pay to use his venue, and they have a great day. Right over here, uh, here at the netball courts with with the A grade and senior coach of the netball club, Bridget Tate. Bridget, uh, big game today for the girls against uh, a usual perennial powerhouse in North Albury. Uh, yeah, it's um, you know it's going to be a good indication today as to where we're at. Um, we played them in round two and we had a draw, which we were lucky to come away with. Um, we were about five goals down with a couple of minutes to go. So, um, you know, we've definitely been working really hard at training and um, we've probably we've got three new players in our side and we've probably made a couple of changes and um, continually making changes and I think that's only a good thing. So um, I know they've lost one of their gun defenders, so that kind of um, helps us out a little bit. But um, yeah, I think we're a completely different side to what we were, you know, this time. It's never easy, never easy to replace someone like uh, Steph Tyrrell or, or Kylie to no, that to that extent. No, no, um, definitely not. You know, they're like two, like probably our best players we've had over the last couple of years. Um, you know, and it's probably just made the rest of the club, you know, the rest of the squad work out a little bit harder. Yeah. We've all had to step up, and I think the young girls, um, you know, it's provided them with some opportunity to step up, and they're doing a really good job on improving each week. So, you know, it's good news, you know, for the future. Um, so yeah, it's good. No, so um, yeah, and the girls, the little ones had their first win last week, which was fantastic. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was great. I think a few of the girls that are away on camp uh, would have been pretty disappointed in missing it. Yeah, it's um, look, they've gone really close. Um, we only just lost to the top side who um, were undefeated by a couple of goals which is really good and um, we've probably got three of our best you know the, the older yeah. um, girls we've got them away um, there's five of them away on school camp so um, Morse has done a really good job um, you know with what she's got and um, the girls yeah played brilliantly last week and come away with a win nah. good. well that's great Bridge uh, all the best for today and uh, thanks for talking to Pigeon TV thanks Right, uh, welcome to, uh, this is our inaugural running of uh, Pigeon TV and uh, I didn't think in our wildest dreams that we'd have Brad Otten's Brendan Favola and Kane Pettifall in the one team 
playing in the Amundsen Murray. Did you blokes ever think this would ever happen? Uh, no, not really. Obviously playing with Brad, no one cares about games. But, <laughs> um, yeah, playing with these two blokes is going to be a bit of fun. And, uh, you know, that might be, uh, as always, we all get pretty hungry for goals. So there might be a few uh, dummy spits today in the goal square. But hopefully Kane gets up and gets out of the way. Because no one really wants him down there. And hopefully me and Brad... Yeah, well, Kane, um, what's he expecting? I've been kicked out of the forward line, starting in the middle, so... Oh, that's all right, get in, on the, in the midfield, get a few more... Uh, yeah, it won't last me, I'll be blowing. Get a few more Morris medal votes, mate. Yeah, it'd be good, yeah, obviously just want to tally him up. That's all he's here for. That's all he's here for. And Brad, uh, you've been, uh, as you would expect, probably up in the bush, you've been all the talk about uh, getting you here. Uh, what what possessed you to want to come up and play in the Amazon and Murray with the Pigeons? Don't tell me it was Edney, please. Oh, Edney was in the air. <laughs> Yeah, so what can you expect? Have a really good volume on that camera. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, it's pretty good. I've got to fit you all in. You won't get near each other. All of a sudden, you're not getting near each other, so it makes it pretty hard. So, um, what can you expect today, Kane, uh, the big fellow, especially with our, you know, the boys in orange? Yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully the midfield can get a bit of that. Yeah, thanks, Kane. Yeah, hopefully the midfield <laughs> can um, yeah, get out of the middle and get a down to him. Um, Hope the forwards down there. Obviously, when I get down there, it'll be free, so it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that's no, fantastic, and uh, look, it's all the best, hard, boys. It won't be hard not to see him because his head's the same size as a footy. <laughs> <laughs> so well, listen, I've got one question for you. Hey, wait on, Fevy, I've got one question for you. When all the AFL blokes come here, when all the AFL blokes come here and the property stewards got to work out shorts, they always seem to worry about what size. So far, the only shorts we've had problems with are yours. I'm large. Yeah, well, you know, they've been wanting to get, these blokes are all mediums. <laughs> Extra large. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen his eyes? <laughs> All right, good on you, boys. You better get in for you, you better get for the two mooting and uh, good luck today. And it's been fantastic having you on Pigeon TV. Thanks for having us at the <laughs> right, we're just in here now at the uh, at the senior team meeting. And, uh, the senior coach is about to start talking to the players. All right, boys, welcome to Brad. You know, great to have you, Mark. what's happened in the past and uh, he'd just like to uh, give us a bit of an overview of where the uh, football situation is. Thanks Chris.
Glenn and I will probably work very closely and uh, Perry the coach and uh, three or four years ago uh, we sat down and talked about their point of difference in the club and um, I think I don't think we ever embraced that for now. No, the point of difference is our, of our footy club is so fortunate to be in the first town. Yeah, I wonder.